Best people, welcome back to another cooking demo. Today I'm doing curry mince with some carrot and peas, a simple combination which I actually use as a filling to my stuffed fat cooks, which I am going to be showing you. At, I actually have made a fat cook recipe, but it's on fast forward because my other half thought it was very funny to make me sound like um, a chipmunk. So it is how it's going to be placed, but this is how to actually make the curry mince. So let's get cooking. There. So I've heated up a pan, a frying pan, the deep frying pan. I'm just going to take about a tablespoon of oil. We don't want too much. We don't want it too oily. I've got one chopped medium-sized onion. So we're going to saute that. Just for about two minutes. Okay, so sauteing it now for two minutes. I'm going to add about two centimeters of ginger that I have finely grated, two cloves of garlic, finely chopped. Just saute that. Give it a quick toss. And I've also got some curry leaves that I've dried out. So all I want to do is just like three or four little dried curry leaves. If you can get fresh, fabulous. Those were fresh, I dried them out because I can't always get them in Cape Town. It's not the easiest place to get. Durban, we used to grow them in the garden like a weed. Okay, we're going to throw in our spices. So I've got about one eighth of a teaspoon of cloves. Cloves is quite strong, so you don't want too much. About half a teaspoon of cumin. One teaspoon of turmeric. One teaspoon of paprika. And then this is kind of a medium to hot curry powder, two teaspoons of that. You can make this as hot or as mild as you want to. I like mine with a little bite. I'm gonna sort that around, and then I'm going to add the mince. And just so that your curry doesn't burn, I suggest adding just a drop of water. Otherwise your spices tend to burn. And into that I'm also gonna throw one chopped chili. And one grated carrot. Just give us a good saute. We want the mince. What I've done here, I've used ostrich mince. You can use lean beef or lamb mince. I love ostrich because it's lower in cholesterol. So for me, it's a healthier option of all the meats. And I'm a big meat eater. Well, both Ant and I are big meat eaters at home. We actually just love our food, full stop. I'm going to turn that to a medium heat. You can see it's browning quite nicely now. And I'm going to season with some salt and pepper. Just some black pepper brown. Okay. 
just about a half a teaspoon of salt. See it's browning nicely. I like to put vegetables into my mince. It just gives it added flavor and also bolts it up. You can add potatoes if you want to, but because I'm using this as a filling for the fat cooks, we've already got a, a starch, so I don't want to add more starch to this. And you can see now it's beautifully browned. I'm now going to add about two tablespoons of tomato puree. One and two. And this curry is a little bit drier than you normally would do because again, you want it for the filling. You don't want it too wet. Otherwise it tends to leak out of the, fill, uh, of the actual dough. So, Just let it cook for a minute or two, and then I'm going to add some of those flavors to you. I'm going to add the peas. So it's been cooking for about two minutes. I'm going to add the peas. They are frozen, so we can use that liquid when it defrosts into it, because you can see it is quite a dry curry. If you find it is dried out too much, you can add a little bit of water. And we'll check the liquid content near the end. So we're going to let that cook just a little bit now until those peas are cooked through. So the curry looks a little bit too dry for me, so I'm going to add just about a quarter cup of water into that. You can see a little bit of moisture coming back in now. I'm going to turn that right down to simmer and just let those peas cook. You can actually now, you can actually put a lid on this and just let that simmer. So I put a lid on here, just to let that simmer, let that steam go back into the mince curry. I would let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Uh, and then again, check the um, liquid. If it's dried out a little bit, we add a little bit more water, but we don't want to add too much. Because I keep saying this is the filling that is used for the fat cooks. So it's been cooking now for 10 minutes and those peas should be cooked through. Yep, they're done. And that seasoning, I'll just have a little taste of that. I would do just a tiny little bit more salt. And then it's done. This is a really nice bite to it. And you can see it's got still some moisture to it. It's not completely dry, but it's not what I would serve with, with rice. So definitely perfect for a filling for fat cooks. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this into a bowl, but first what I want to do is just take, I just have uh, half a handful of coriander, fresh coriander, and use the stems, there's nothing wrong with it, as long as it's finely chopped up. And then we're gonna just stir that in. So that's nicely incorporated. And then we're gonna put that into 
a bowl to allow it to cool down to room temperature and then we can put it into the fridge and knead as wanted. You can make this the day before. I'm going to make this for this evening. So it is now lunchtime. I'm going to leave it to cool for about an hour or so and I'm going to put it into the fridge and then take it out about an hour before you want to use it, even an hour and a half, so that it comes down back to room temperature. Otherwise, the filling doesn't heat up sufficiently when you make your fat cooks. And there we go. Now filling for curry mince fat cooks. Enjoy!